cleaned up. And tomorrow's weather is going to be hammering it down. I know there was a few little holes in the, in the tap oil I've got up. So I've just come home and now I've just started to take some plastic on the windows because I know if it does drip down it will drip into the lamp. So there we go. I've cleaned up as much of the adhesive sealant for all the rails and took as many screws and nails like that I can get out out cleaned it all up because when obviously I'm going to start sanding it I don't want all the adhesive getting stuck in the sandpaper because it would just be a waste Taken all the polystyrene up, taken it all out. Literally, you can see no adhesive at all. All the windows stacked. My well, next job, now the rails are all off and the screws are all out, I can start to replace the timber that is, is rotten. So, I'm going to start with the easy side, and that's the little corner down there. See if I the timber. These are roof lats, they are 25 by 38 millimeters, so they're slightly chunkier than the ones that are already in. I think they're about 25 by 25 that are in. The roof lats, they're already treated, so you don't have to pay the Wix and B&Q prices, which is stupid. And these are 4.2 meters long, I think, and 24 pounds for a pack of 10. So I've got 42 meters. Flats. Still not taking the roof off yet. So that's going to be done probably once all the woodwork has been completed. Let me just get inside the van. There we are. Once that side's done, I will start at this end of this wall and probably start replacing all of the timber. I've left them in so that I can put the timber exactly where they were before. I will put some more supports in for where I know stuff's going back. Once I've got to the wheel arch, that is when I will take out the section of floor that needs replacing, which I still need to get. 12mm ply, and work right way on to the front corner, which is I think the end of the dam at the moment. The next thing, as I previously mentioned on my other video, I don't think the aluminium has ever been stuck down as you can see now all the polystyrene's off and the awning you can see it's never been stuck look at that bring my hand in there so i will be getting adhesive and as i do the timber i'll be sticking all the aluminium back on and then where the staple holes are on the aluminium rails i will probably nail it onto the wood and then seal the joins at the same time so that outside's done and then obviously when I come to painting it then I'll put the rails back on so I need to patch up the rest of these windows for tonight I've just got some clear plastic from work so I can still have light coming in tell me your thoughts any tips would be great so tonight I'm going to be ordering a tripod because as you'll have seen from my rail removal little tips um, it's a bit wobbly so then I can have the camera pointing where I am working and you can see things a bit more rather than me quite going back to you and I hope it helps you. Tools I've used to get the rails off. I know I didn't do a tutorial for the getting the staples out but the tips I will say you can get a chisel very small chisel and then you can tap that in at the angle and then you can wedge the um, staple out which helped. I was using the flat head screwdriver at first but the staples did break quite easily. Once the staples are out far enough you get your pliers and you pull the staples out. I've seen on the video I've done you use the little dremel tool you can grind a slot in and use the flat head to 
get the screw out and if all fails that you then grind it down. Once the adhesive is on show, Wilco's sell some wipes, 50p for a pack of four and use that and a wallpaper scraper, scrape the dry, seal it off. So that's some tools I used for all that. What have I been up to? Well, first things first, I don't know if you can see, but I've put a um, tarpaulin above me. Uh, I can't remember the last time it rained, but you know what England's like, it's going to rain at some point. And I don't want anything getting in considering how bad the damp is. So at the minute I have been removing the awning rails. I'll just show you this side which I've finished. Hold on. If you can see, took all the rails off. This side, and the windows, the wheel latch covers. Did a little test patch of sanding to see how bad it'll, it'll be, but it seems quite easy to get by hand. But with this rails, they were stapled, as you can see, some staples holding the pieces together. They were stapled on as well as screwed. And getting the staples out was such a pain. But that slides off, it's cleaned up on the top as well. And now I'm in the process of doing the back. Quite a lot of the sealant is gone now, which could be the reason why it's leaking. Especially out in that corner there. So, with the rail removal, um, on the back it's just screws, there's no, no um, staples, but you will come across screws that are that rusted that they won't come out. So, my tool I've been using is a a Dremel type tool, multi-tool and what I've been doing is, is grinding a slit in the top of the head and then getting them out with a flathead handheld and if that all else fails you just grind the head off completely down to the rail and then you just have to prise it through when you're actually taking the rail off so I'll give you a little look now I'll take some still images I've been using. it's a guild multi-tool comes with a flexible attachment and a grinder blade it's quite worn down now, almost needs a new one. And then, I don't know if you can see, I'm going to a slot in the middle of these screws, over in there. And then hopefully, when I flat it, we can get out. There's one at the end, I've already done it, but it's going to need grinding off, so I'll show you that. There we go. Screwdriver central. Two red screws out without grinding. Hold on this one. Very simple technique. So yeah, I'm gonna adjust. I'll show you what happens when I have to grind the actual head off. It gets to a point where maybe you can't get the grinder to grind a slot in it. Or the head is that rusted that there's nowhere to put the flathead in anymore which there is another one down the other end of this rail so what i'll do is i'm just going to grind the uh, screw head off which i don't know if you can see and then we'll um be able to remove the rail so let's see if you can watch As you can see, it's 
see you just got the actual screw thread left now in the middle which means you can you'll be able to prise the rail off let me show you the other one that we I was able to kind of sit in it but the head was that rusted at this moment at the start so let's grind this one off Just the thread of the screw left, and uh, now that rail is ready to come off, which I'll do later tonight when I get back from work. I've already taken the top two off of the window, and the side rail to go, and then the other side. See you later. Oh. Time to try and take the rail off. I've got an old chisel. Get underneath it. The screw is where you um, ground it this morning. Let's get behind it again. So I finished the other side, so I'll be taking the handles and all the electric stuff as well. Get right behind them with a big split on the bottom of there. Gonna have to fill the sand and quite a lot of these holes. Show you when I finish. <laughs> 